Questions like this are quite easy. All you need to do is plug the information into the correct formula. They tell us that the eighth term of a geometric sequence is 10. So I can say that term 8 is equal to 10. And then term 13, I'll do this in a different color, is equal to 320. Now they tell us that it's geometric, so we would use the geometric formula. And now it's just a matter of plugging in. So we could say 10 is equal to a r to the power of n, which is 8 minus 1. And so to neaten that up, it'll just be a r to the 7. On the other side, we would get 320 equals to a r to the power of 13 minus 1. And so that's going to end up giving us a r to the power of 12. Now we have two equations with two unknowns, and so we solve simultaneously. And so there's various ways you could do this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this equation over here, and I'm going to get a alone. And so a would be equal to 10 over r7. I would then plug that into the place of a over here. And so this means we're going to have 320 equals to 10 over r7 multiplied by r12. Now, some students do struggle a little bit here. R12 is the same as R12 over 1. So just multiply these two parts together. So that will be 320 is equal to 10 R12 over R7. Now R12 over R7 becomes R5. You can then divide by 10. And so you'll end up with 32 is equal to R to the power of 5. To get R, you would then take the fifth root on both sides. And so R would be equal to 2. Now that you have r, you can get a by plugging it back into this equation, for example. And so that will become a equals to 10 over 2 to the power of 7. And that gives us a value of 5 over 64. Now they would like term 30. So we can say term 30 is equal to a, which is 5 over 64, times by r, which we found as 2, to the power of 30 minus 1. You could then type that in on the calculator, and that should give you quite a big answer of 49, I mean 419, 43, 040.